Thanks for being with us for another edition of DermTube daily coverage from Cosmetic Surgery Forum in Las Vegas. With us today is Miami dermatologist Manjula Jagasathi, who's going to be discussing some of the innovative and off-label treatments that she's done and talked about at this meeting. Thank you very much for having me on DermTube, Joel. Um, I like to do a lot of non-invasive body procedures. Miami is a city where people don't wear a lot of clothes a lot of the time. There's a lot of skin showing and people want to look good. They work out and they take care of themselves, but they still need a little help in certain areas and that's what I'd like to talk about. So I was at your lecture, you talked about some really innovative ways to, to mold and sculpt fat in some areas. You even talked about you know, some of the lifting procedures in, in non-facial areas. So take us through some of those points. Absolutely. You know, I think we are all talking about the natural look these days in terms of facial aesthetics. But something to remember is that if your face doesn't match your body, then that's not natural either. And so I've been kind of focusing in the last year or two on doing body work on a lot of people of all ages. Um, and I think Kybella just got FDA approval just in time for us to do such great contouring on areas like the bra line where really it's difficult to get a liposuction cannula in there because there's a lot of structures and atopical structures that are sensitive and Kybella is perfect for melting small deposits of fat in those areas and those were my lectures. So it's important to point out first that Kybella is approved for submental fullness. Correct. You were talking about completely off-label areas so that's right. Um, essentially, you know, physicians are allowed to use FDA-approved medicines in off-label areas on other parts of the body. And I seem to find, you know, the neck submental fat is a very well-circumscribed area of fat, and it's a fairly small deposit of fat. And I find that the bra line is very similar. It's sort of a U-shaped around the front, you know, from the chest over to the upper arm, and the same thing on the back. And it's a giant problem even for very thin pr women. A lot of you men and don't understand, but it's kind of the bane of many of our existences, and Kybella works really well for it with very little downtime, very little pain, and actually great results. And then we've had all therapy in our practice for three plus years. We've seen very nice results on the neck and the decollete where it's now approved as well as also for brow lift, but you were talking about actually using it in terms of buttock lifting, and we do treatments of that area for Selfina, for dimple cellulite. We haven't ventured into that Talk yes. us through that. You know, I, and, and I'm, I've seen your results with the Selfina for the dimpled cellulite, and I think it's wonderful. But I'm sure you've seen that most women or most people in general just don't have just dimpled cellulite. They also have what we call wavy cellulite. And that works, you know, that's treated very nicely with either radio frequency or the most superficial transponder of the Altera laser or device. Um, but what I'm doing and finding more interesting is in young women, who want to do get the approximation of what we call the BBL, the Brazilian butt lift, very popular in Miami right now surgically, but they don't want the surgery or they simply don't even have the fat to transfer from one place to another. So what I'm doing is the deep transponder of the Althera, the 4.5 millimeter in a U-shaped pattern and lifting the entire gluteal uh, area without you know, needing to do any cellulite work. These are young women. Miami style dermatology. There you completely go. Completely off label. There you go. Thanks so much for joining us for DermTube meeting coverage from Cosmetic Surgery Forum in Las Vegas.